Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, we are going to take a look at vertical tags that can improve your workflow when you're working with the object manager and tags. This is a raccoon designed by Everfresh, and it's part of our asset browser, Assets. Now, it was uh, animated, but I removed all the rigs and all that because I want to show you what the structure looks like. So if you go to the raccoon over here, and you will see that many objects have tags and they have material tags and they have font tags and all that. And if you go down to, let's say, the body, what you will see is that there is a number of, uh, let's say, selection tags. One, two, three, four, five. And for most part, we do not know which one is which. You will have to go and select through them until you see the name in the attribute manager. But there is a very simple solution. If you go to the view menu of the object manager, down here it says vertical tags. And when you switch that on, the tags, instead of the tag section over here, will be placed underneath each object as children. And they will be folded into these little containers, these little folders here. So essentially, if these are closed, they don't even take up too much space. But the huge advantage of this is that if you need any one of these tags, you can actually see their name. So if I select this tag over here, it's a pin material tag, what name it has appears over here. So each and every one of these selection tags, raccoon, hair, area, now I know which selection tag this is, and it applies to all tags. And you can always go and turn it off if you don't need it to save some space. But in any case, by using vertical tags, it's much easier for you to go to objects that have multiple identical tags and identify which one is which. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.